just got back from, um, I think it's the Cosmetic Trend Show or something like that with Keisha Makeup Doll, which I actually have a vlog of us sort of at, well, not so much at the event, just a couple of clips from the event and um, a little bit of shopping and us talking and stuff. So I'll probably post that um, after this video. I don't know yet because <laughs> uh, I have a few that I want to post. Anyways, um, I picked up a few things, so I thought I would do a the little haul. The first thing they did was they gave us this, like, red patent leather tote bag thing when we walked in. Um, and there's a bunch of information. I guess there's, like, a little pamphlet. They had little coupons to get samples, which we only got, I think, a couple of them. Um, hmm. Oh, I have a bottle of water. I'm just pulling out all the papers that, from, that are in here that I don't need. So they had these like little things, you provide your information and then they would basically give you free samples, but a lot of them ran out of their samples by the time we got to their counter, so it wasn't a big deal. So some of the free samples that I ended up picking up are a couple of Bulgari scents. Um, the Omnia Crystalline and the Bulgari Jasmine Noir, which I don't even know what either of those smell like, so I'll find that out later. Um, Donna Karen, uh, Woman, I'm guessing this is another scent, yes, it's a little, is it Rollerball? Nope, it's just a little perfume jar. Oh, I kind of like that. So, another perfume sample. Let's see, somebody walk, was walking around and she, uh, just happened to see me and Keisha and handed us the Moroccan oil light. This is for fine or light colored hair. It's a little sample. I don't know. I think I'm going to research this more before I um, use it because I don't have fine hair and I don't, I definitely don't have light hair. So give that, uh, I'll research that before I try it. And the last thing we got is the Clinique Repairwear Laser Focus. And this is, I guess, their newest serum that they recently came out with. Um, it's supposed to help fill your lines. You're only supposed to use it where you need it. Um, and I guess she said that it's safe to use around the eyes. So we got that. Now, the two things that I actually bought at Nordstrom, I kind of splurged on. You guys know that I typically don't buy a whole lot of really expensive makeup. I think the most expensive that I've ever bought is like an Urban Decay palette. I don't think I've really bought anything more expensive than oh, aside from my Clarisonic, but that doesn't really count. Um... <laughs> So I picked up the YSL Touche Eclat. Um, this is in 2.5. Um, I'm not going to start it because it's basically, you have to like click this thing like 30 times before it'll start, but it's just one of those highlighting pins. Again, I'm sure everybody has seen one of these before. The next thing I ended up picking up is probably the thing I was the most excited about, and it is the Chanel Lipstick in Pirate Red. This thing is so much fun. I could see myself just sitting here playing with this thing. But I guess the lipstick sort of clicks down and locks into place here so that it's not going to open up real easy. So you just push it and open it. And it's this gorgeous red. And it looked completely different on Keisha than it did on me and completely different on like one other person we saw it. And it's, and all three of us had the exact same color. I don't know if she used the same liner on both of us. She used a brown liner on me. And I, I'm pretty sure she used a brown liner on Keisha as well. Um, and on the woman, the other woman that was there, she told me that they used like a brighter red on her. So it's a real, I guess, it's a, it's really, everyone I saw this on looked great. So Pirate Red by Chanel. Um, I splurged. I don't think I've ever bought lipstick this, well... No, I don't think so. So, very excited about this. Um, after that, we ended up running to Target, and this is not makeup, but I'm going to show you guys the things that I picked up. I bought a new loofah. I like these because they have, like, a little bit of a rougher patch, um, and then they've got the regular soft, like, loofah bath spongy parts. Um, but the one that I did have kind of fell apart on me, so I bought a new one piece of mail in there. And then I bought a couple pairs of shoes. I was really only going to buy flats, but then I saw a pair of heels that I really like, some pumps. So the flats that I picked up are just by Mossimo. 
Um, these are on sale for $14. Regular price is $14.99, so it's not that great of a sale, but they're still whatever. Um, these are size 8. I'm normally a size 7.5, but the 7.5 were not very comfortable, so I went ahead and picked up a size 8, and these felt just fine. And they're just plain black patent leather flats. <laughs> and the pumps that I purchased are by Morona and they're this taupe color patent leather taupe color and it's not a really high heel it's about what two maybe two and a half inches um again I bought these in a size eight which I probably should have gone with seven and a half now that I think about it but yeah I'll try these on again and see if the eight feels comfortable or if I should go and exchange them for seven and a half Anyways, they're this really pretty taupe color, so it's not quite nude, but um, it's great for fall, I figured. It's sort of like a, a nude for fall. I don't know, but I really, really like them, and they're super comfortable. They're like padded on the inside. That reminds me of the Jessica Simpson pumps. So that was that. Last thing I picked up um, was from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I actually picked up makeup from there. I have found that Bed Bath & Beyond has the best prices on some of the drugstore makeup out there. Um, I bought the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stains, and they were on a display in my, uh, it was the Bed Bath & Beyond in Dunwoody. If anybody in Georgia is interested in going and finding them, um, you can literally, like, there was a stack of $1 off coupons for each one, so I bought four, so it was $4 off. Originally, or the regular price on these are six something, um, so they came out to about $5 and some change a piece. So I picked up, um, Honey. I'm not going to take the time in opening these right now, but if you guys want to see swatches or anything, just leave me a comment below and I'll throw them up on Instagram or my blog or something like that. Um, the next color I bought was Precious, uh, Sweetheart, and Adore. And the Adore I already tried. Um, it's just like a deeper red. It sort of reminds me of the Revlon lip, uh, not lip balm. Um, sort of reminds me of the... Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet, but it's not quite as dark and vampy. It's just a really sheer color. So that's it as far as my haul goes. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me, leave me a comment below. Um, stay tuned. I am going to post my vlog with Keisha um, shortly. I don't know when. I'm not exactly sure when this video is going to go up. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you later. Bye!